thing that I like to do to prepare for Thanksgiving holiday is to decorate the mantel. Our fireplace is right across from our kitchen, and of course that's where everybody gathers during the holiday. So I like for it to look festive, and it helps me to get into the mood for all the other things we have to do for Thanksgiving. So we're going to do that today. How does that sound? Good? Okay, let's get going then. The first thing I do to get ready to decorate the mantel is to go on a little scavenger hunt throughout the house. I go to every room looking for items that would look great on the mantel and fit with a the holiday theme. Also, don't forget to go up in your attic and look through your boxes. Uh, we all have lots of pumpkins and lots of things we've already bought, and we can really save a lot of money if we'll just go look throughout the house and look in our old boxes and use things we already have. And maybe just augment with a little bit of new stuff. I like to, when I decorate a mantle, to have a varying height. I think it's sort of boring when everything's at the same level. And one of the best ways to add height is to use books. Uh, years ago, back in the 90s, it was very popular for people to collect these leather books to decorate with. And I said, oh, I have to have those. I just, I just love them. But I was very shocked when I went out and saw how expensive it was to buy them. So what I did, and something that's a great idea for you if you'd like to collect beautiful books, is to go to someone like Eaton Press. That's where I got these years and years ago. And I subscribed to a subscription service where I got one book per month. So for seven years, I got one leather book but I'm so proud to have them and they're just beautiful in the home, beautiful to decorate with, and of course, beautiful to read. So we'll start by placing some books on the mantel to give us some height. I'll place three on the left of the mirror. One other hint, if you're like me and you have a mirror above your mantel, be sure and clean it before you start decorating. It's awfully disappointing to have everything up there then have to get the Windex out, so be sure and clean the mirror first. Uh, my personal style is to decorate in a symmetrical way. Uh, that means that equal objects are on each side of, of the fireplace. Uh, some people like that, some people don't, but that's my preference, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, you can change this up for your own personal taste. So I'll put some books onto the left side of the right side of the mantel. Here I decide on a theme. What do I want my theme to be? Uh, and it's fun to do that. It's fun to have it to be different, even if it's similar items. Uh, this year I've decided I would like to have a woodland theme. In the past I've of course used turkeys and had all kinds of turkey things on there, which is a wonderful thing to do too. But this year I'm going with a woodland theme. So I'll put the turkey somewhere else in the, in the house, on the table probably. So one of the new things that I purchased this year, and that's what makes it so fun, uh, to use the things you already have and just purchase things that are special, special for that year. This year I found these wonderful woodland owls. They have glitter, so they add a lot of sparkle to the mantle, and they're very whimsical, which is something I love. So these are my purchase for this year. So I'll put one here. And the second one at a varying height on the other side, just to be symmetrical again. And I love how they look with the dark that I already have on the mantle. That's another trick. If you have some dark pieces, it will really make your white mantle also pop. Also, when I decorate the mantle for Thanksgiving, I usually have my tree up at Thanksgiving. I find that's easier to, to go ahead and put that up, and it adds a lot of beauty to the home as well. So I usually put a touch of Christmas on my mantle, even though it's only Thanksgiving. And this year I'm using these little trees, which are very tall and beautiful, so I'll put those up next. Again, as you can see, the, the books make it variable and, and add a lot of interest. another bird just kind of continuing that woodland theme. You can already see the mantle is looking a little bit better than just a plain white mantle. From my attic I have my pumpkins so I didn't have to buy those. So I'll put those next. Again you want to use a lot of different colors but 
in the same sort of mood. So if you're doing a woodland theme, you probably would have mostly dark colors uh, with just a few pops uh, to make it not so drab. And that's what I'm doing uh, with the objects I'm putting on there right now. I'll go ahead and add a few other pumpkins, uh, which also I already had. Something that I've also collected and which are, I think, very beautiful are these fruits that are sparkly. They have some sort of sparkle on them. I'm not sure what the actual uh, product on them is, but I think they look lovely in any kind of decoration. Another thing that would be fun to do is on the day of Thanksgiving or close to Thanksgiving, put real fruits on there, like beautiful pears, uh, beautiful apples, crab apples, uh, any kind of fruit that's sort of seasonal, tangerine, and something beautiful for the season. But right now I'm going to put the fake ones up there. Something that, you see how that almost fell off? Something that's wonderful to use on your, on your mantle to hold your fruits, hold objects is uh, what they call um, uh, florist clay. And you can just put a little dab of that and then put your fruit on top of it. It won't harm the mantle, it'll keep everything in place. I also like to put some autumnal twig type things. Uh, these you can find at all sorts of craft stores. Uh, I like to use the ones that have uh, the pumpkins and gourds on them because I think they look uh, very nice for the season. I also like for them to come out a little bit to add interest rather than back flush with the edge of the mantle. I think they look better if they stick out a little bit. Acorns also always look beautiful on there. sparkle too. Uh, you can find these type of grapes, uh, usually at flea markets. They were very popular back in the 60s. I don't know if you guys had this, but um, when I was growing up, we had one of these, which was a huge one that hung down. It was actually a light. So it was a little bit garish, but it was popular in the 60s. But I still love these sparkly fruits today. Autumnal leaves are lovely with the acorns and the pine cones. Since we're very close again to the Christmas holidays at Thanksgiving, I like to put a little sparkle. Uh, these sparkle pine cones are very effective to give a little pop of glitter. these plastic balls. Um, whatever you want your accent color to be, uh, I find it's very fun to use these plastic balls because even if they fall off, even if you get your florist uh, glue, uh, they don't break and they just add a lot of interest and beauty to the, to the mantle scape. by the woodland owls as well. If you have some globes, um, this is a paperweight. Uh, these were very popular uh, to collect and I, I love them. I love how the light shines through them. 
And they just give sort of an ethereal quality to the mail as well. So I'll put that up. And one last touch is to have some candles. Uh, we'll, we'll light these uh, when the guests come in for the holiday. And it adds a beauty to the mantle and a sparkle to the mantle and also will light up the other objects that are on there. So there you have it. Uh, I always tend to collect a lot more than I need, but uh, I love to decorate the mail. I need it carried away. Another thing that I'll do probably, and it's a wonderful idea to add a extra special touch to the mantle right the morning of the holiday, is to go into your yard and collect some greenery. Boxwoods or holly or um, any sort of leaf that will hold up well and has a lot of bulk to it. Just come back in and tuck that in to make the mantle a little bit more fluffy and beautiful. So we went from drag to what I think is fab. So hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to hear back from you how you decorated your mantle.